welcome hip hop artist, actor, author, uh, Wes Williams, better known as Maestro Fresh. <laughs> Well, now, this is it. Not for me, not for me. You don't wear Little Lab. Watch. <laughs> Watch Little Lab. Yes. I got the choices. Here's the thing about you. I'm a Toronto boy, you know. Uh, listening to you, as, I mean, I, I've always thought of you as a Toronto guy. There's, you're, there's Toronto lyrics. You refer to Toronto. You refer, you refer to difficulties you had in Toronto. You, you've been a proud booster of Toronto, I thought. So you're out here, and I read a pr press release saying, happy to be in his hometown of Vancouver. <laughs> what? I mean, I, you wrote that, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't call you a veteran songwriter. A veteran songwriter, but the loops was in his head. Okay, so you're not a Vancouver guy. You're, you're a Toronto guy. But born and raised in Toronto, but I, I love Vancouver too. So. Yeah. You, uh, it's been, this is the 20th anniversary of Let Your Back Bones Own Slide. And a lot of people trace that back as the beginnings of, uh, not just in this country, but uh, you know, worldwide, of, of, of uh, new sounds in hip hop and what, with what you, were, what you were doing. What is it like to, for you to reflect upon the fact that that was two decades ago now? Well, getting old and uh, <laughs> as we see it. But you know, it's a beautiful thing because you know, it's funny we're in, in Vancouver right now because this is where I won my first June. And, and, this is where the first Juno Award for rap, for the rap recording was in, in Vancouver. Wow. So it, it was. <laughs> I never had a category before, and my first album was the first. Uh, so it's, it's a feeling, man. I, like, listen, Red One, I met Red One from the Rascals before he had the dreads. Yeah. It's like a long time ago, and they were so accommodating. Artists here and people here are so accommodating, and I love y'all, man. That's, that's real spit. <laughs> You're here to celebrate um, the fourth annual Maestro Media Benefit and Birthday Bash. Is it your birthday? Well, my actual birthday is the 31st. Okay. Happy it's birthday. On the 26th. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but uh, happy birthday shout outs from the audience. <laughs> I said I'd like that too. I got that benefit there, but before I let you go, I know you got to run. You, you've got all kinds of commitments here over the weekend. But um, uh, you, you've branched out into a, a number of different areas. Um, uh, you're still involved in music, but you, but you're acting and you're authoring a new book. Um, uh, tell me about your recent uh, creative experiences and what's exciting. I'm working a book called Stick to Your Vision, and you know our words as musicians, man. You know we we, we inspire a lot of people through our words, man. I wrote a song called that, which we I sampled the Guess Who's These Eyes. And Stick to Your Vision was a, was a beautiful song for me. And one day I saw a dude with Stick to Your Vision tattooed on his arm. And I'm like, wow, man, my words affect people that much. You don't know who you can affect with your words, man. You know? mm -hmm. I mean, listen to who you were just you know, interviewing Gordon Lightfoot, you know, Bruce Coburn, Yoko Ono. So the, <laughs> but the point is, words put an impact on people. So it's going, it's going to come out in the new year, 2010. And it's a motivational joint. Now, on the acting tip, I got a brand new series called The Line. I'm so excited about it from playwright George F. Walker. And, man, George just won the Governor General Award uh, for literary, and I just feel good, man. This is a whole different thing. You're gonna see me. It's a good role. One episode, I throw my lawyer off the roof. Next episode, I <laughs> confuse the kids in the back saying, "It's a beautiful my needs to be in a bantam hockey league." We'll talk. Nice, Joe. Honorary Vancouver. Great to have you here.